Hey y'all, it's Rasha. Uh, we about to do some breakdowns of some of my artwork and we're in my room right now. <laughs> this piece right here, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it my favorite, but it is the one I felt called to present. This piece doesn't have a name yet, but I would say like it would be a good example of my process just with like again with my art exhibit that's coming up um how this piece kind of like inspired like me doing something bigger with that i've been dating a skater <laughs> and typically when i am dating people it's like it's inevitable i'm gonna make art about you i think i just romanticize almost everything in my life and um i went on a trip with their family in florida last year in the summer and um a lot of my art pieces come to me in visions and say not to say i think having that trip in florida as an artist and just as a young person that's working um the trip gave me enough time to rest to want to be creative if that makes sense and like the day after I got back from the trip, I was on such a high from like that vacation and I painted myself first. And originally this was just supposed to be two people, but of course, like I came back from a, like a vacation. And so, you know, I was like, let me add him in, in this painting. This was like, I think the first shoes he had on uh, when we met. Once I started on this painting, I had a dream that um, I had an exhibit about skateboarding and like this piece was kind of like the heartbeat of like that idea, that vision. Since I was getting back into art and like painting wasn't really my medium, like as a child, it was more so just drawing and things like that. Um, I realized I was like trying to be too calculated when approaching making these pieces. And then this one, I told myself, I was like, you know, I wanna make this piece without thinking at all. Like, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect or like if it doesn't make sense or if it looks ugly even, even to me. Kinda just let the piece tell me what it wants me to do with it and not it be such this like, um, dragged out conversation between my psyche and what it creates more so just like we're just gonna go with this like and just again do whatever i feel and not really judge myself okay i also have this little figurine uh to show you guys i've been like making these figurines for like a few years now um and this one i chose this one in particular because I reached out to a peer of mine that's also an artist. And I was like, uh, would you mind if I made like a figurine inspired by you? And saying that to say that whenever I make art that already has like, I guess somewhere it's going, like it already has a home that's outside of me and my space. I feel that it's really easy for me to pull from those people's energies, look consensually. Um, and just like, it's kind of like a marrying of whatever ethos or energy or residue that they give me. And then I kind of just put it into a P. The girl that I chose, her name's Cherry Bomb C. Y'all should look her up, Sierra Weish. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's how you pronounce it. Um, and to me, like, she's just such a like, let's say revolutionary lady. I think she could be a little rough around the edges, but like more so with like, I think her gusto, like you could tell she's a very passionate and just like she's been really rallying for what's happened with the Palestinian people. I envision like a black colorway with like, you know, these different colors. And one thing about those visions too is like, it'll start out one way and then I have to be open to whichever way it comes out. In my writing, a lot of times it's about like just how I feel about things. And I know that's so simple, but um, for instance, I'm a Pisces rising. I don't know if y'all know about astrology, 
but I always do feel like I'm melting. Um, I think that's why I created the symbol that's on the red, black, and gray piece. Um, it just feels like little atoms. Again, like me being like wanting to romanticize a lot of things in my life comes from that feeling of just like feeling a lot and just being so like aware and acknowledging like that everything has a spirit love inspires me a lot um i think people inspire me a lot one of my gifts is my genius for just naturally knowing and understanding human nature to a t at a cellular level and um just being able to acknowledge that even in the most taboo of things and i'm not talking about them real nasty evil taboos we're not about to get into that but just those things that we've been made to be ashamed of and just those imperfections like i don't agree with everything that people do but i can accept it because of my understanding of just that primitive nature where it's like you know we're all trying to metabolize again everything that came before us everything that we are and that shows up in many different ways for a lot of people i make comics too i like to draw my friends i love to draw people like i said a lot of my art and a lot of the things that i love to see or just what i would hope my art evolves more and more to is just like touching on what it actually means to be a human what it actually means to be alive and all of the imperfections of that and just like you know how it's still so beautiful and it's so fun to be like and i'm gonna say that fucked by god like just like you know what god like be my ass like but thank you like i'm glad i can feel i'm glad you let me come to this earth and like let me feel all this human shit like you said with what inspires me and how that shows up in my work like just the everyday inspires me like this little sketch that i made is like from one night where you know i could not go to sleep for nothing and i was like you know what let me get up and just draw and i just drew myself in bed i'm surrounded by my plushies and it says so not sleepy and then it says the time that it is while I'm drawing it. And I don't have like a, a clock, but you know, just showing those little things through the ways that I knew how. I, I would say my key influences is um, my spiritual beliefs and my spiritual truths. Um, Mama Earth, nature, um, just again, like people's ethos, I think is so funny to me. <laughs> um, but I enjoy, I appreciate it. It's not just like I'm laughing at it. It's just, you know, makes me giggle. I just look around my, around me and whatever something makes me feel like, I think I've gotten pretty good at like grounding that feeling enough to turn into a thought, turn into art or just, you know, even me talking right now, like this shit takes practice. But the interviewer, has told me to tell you guys something that y'all need to know and i'm a i'm a about to point this back at her i think y'all need to know that miss lauren here behind the camera she's doing a wonderful thing by doing these like taking the time to like give me this mic document this and I just think it's so important that we continue to like encourage each other and not just by words by like showing up for each other hey, i'm excited about my upcoming exhibit it's a skateboarding slash art fusion installation it's my love altar to skateboarding um which a lot of the art i make is an altar to something um and it's featuring a lineup of all local skateboarders because i think the skateboarding community is filled with so many cool as people so many expressive people so many artists so much unconventional people and just people that want to have fun and be healthy and make community and yeah i'm excited about that because it started off as just an idea 
and now it's like this thing is here it's big it's a it's a baby that's about to start walking it's like you know i'm really excited about that and the show is april 6th at yes we cannibal 1600 government street baton rouge louisiana hey i'm just excited i'm happy i'm grateful thank you lord ashe and yeah that's the breakdown right rashad show up to my show tap in and keep on tapping in with tbd because they're doing really great things blessed things sacred things peace